Welcome to this Instructables video about how to create an R2-D2 using a laser cutter. What you'll need is Autodesk 123D Make, the STL file, Corel Draw, a laser cutter, some wood, and glue that will hold the wood together. First we need to download Autodesk 123D Make. If you're using a Mac, you can use the App Store and just search for 123D Make and it'll pull up and you can download it from there. If you're using Windows, you'll need to go to Autodesk 123D Make's website and there's a download button there for the PC version. Next, we're going to download the STL file from this link right here. Um, if you go to this link, you will see a bunch of files listed. We just need to download the STL file um, so that we can go ahead and slice up that image. Once you have the STL file downloaded, You'll need to open 123D Make and import the file. It's going to take a few minutes to go ahead and import the file once you select it. So we're going to do a little time lapse here real quick um, while it imports for us. Now that our file is imported, there's a few things we need to do to get it ready for the laser cutter. So we're going to go over to Manufacturing Settings on the left-hand panel and click the little wheel uh, to bring up settings at the bottom. In this panel, we are going to make sure that it's set in inches, and we are changing the width to 24 um, and the length to 18 and the thickness to 0.125 to fit the wood and the laser cutter that we're using. If you're using a different kind of laser cutter, um, these dimensions are going to be a little bit different for you. Next, we're going to go back to the left side panel and make sure that the length is set to 12 um, and our units is also in inches. This 12 is just setting the height of what we want our final R2D2 to be. Once we have those set, we're going to go up and at the very bottom of that left hand menu, there is a construction technique and we're going to select stacked slices. Once we select that, it'll take a little minute and then it is going to slice up R2-D2 as you see. Um, however, we want him sliced from top to bottom and not front to back. So we are going to change the slice direction and you can grab that little blue dot and drag it up to his head and that will change the direction of his slices. Once that happens, it's going to take a few minutes for it to kind of register all the different slices that it needs to make. Um, in that left hand panel, panel there is also a little dot radio button that you can select to put in dowels. Um, we recommend that you use the dowels um, in the assembly to give it a little extra strength to hold it together. So the computer will go ahead and put in where those dowel marks need to be so that when you put it in the laser, it'll cut out holes for those. Uh, make sure you put in the correct dimension for your dowel rods that you plan on using so that it cuts a big enough hole for those. Okay, it's going to take just a few minutes to get that done, so we're going to skip ahead just a little bit. Now that the computer's done, you can click the Get Plans button from the left-hand panel, um, and it will show you how many sheets you'll have and all of the different pieces. Um, so now we need to save those, and at the bottom you'll need to make sure it's set to EPS and then export them. Um, with Autodesk 123D Make, you'll have to have an account with Autodesk um, that you can sign up for free on their website in order to export them. When you export them, make sure that you select a location that you're going to remember because we will need to access, access these files um, when we get into Corel Draw. We have our files saved here in the Downloads folder, so we're just going to open up um, that folder and take a look at some of the files. There's quite a few of them there, but we're going to open a preview for one, and you'll see that there are some blue lines and red. All the blue is what will actually be cut out by the laser, the red will just be engraved so you know which part is which. Before you close 123D Make, make sure you save your file and that you also take a look at the assembly steps. This will kind of give you a guide to how he needs to be put together and how their number works and their numbering system works so that you can make sure you get all of his pieces in the right place. Next, we are going to get the laser prepped with Corel Draw. So we need to open Corel Draw and then we need to open our EPS file. Um, just one at a time. So just go to File and Open and search for wherever you stored your files. 
Um, we have ours on a USB drive since we had to switch computers. So once you get that open, make sure you import it as a curves file um, and then just click OK. Once that's open, you'll see we need to reorient it a little bit. Um, so you can just select all of it and go to the top and you can rotate it by 90 degrees. Now that we've got it rotated 90 degrees, we need to center it on the artboard. So with it all selected, you can just drag it down so that it lines up with the artboard. You'll notice that there are some weird red lines. Those are just to help you line up the pieces later once they're cut. We need to go to file and open the print box. Once that print menu is open, we just need to click on preferences to open the preferences for the laser. And you'll see here that there's a lot of different settings. So we're going to start by going over to the materials and we are going to be printing on wood. So we're just going to select natural wood um, and then it's also a soft wood. And then we're going to select general softwood. Once that's done, we're going to hit apply. Then we're going to go back over to the manual control and we need to change the settings for the blue and red colors um, so that the red will just engrave and that the blue will actually cut through the wood. So we're going to start with the blue and make sure that its settings are where the reds are right now. So we're going to make sure that its power is set to 100%. And then we're going to make sure that the speed is set to 10%. And we also want to make sure that the PPI is set to 300. And once that's done, you can go ahead and push that big red set button. So now we can move on to setting the settings for the red. Um, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that the red speed is set to 84% and that the PPI for the red is set to 500. We don't need to worry about the power. That will be the same at 100%. So once those are done, we can go ahead and click set. Um, next, we need to select all of the other colors um, besides the red and blue that we are not using. We're selecting all the colors um, and then we're going to go over to the drop down menu on the right and we're just going to set them to skip. So once we have all of those set to skip, we are just going to hit the set button. And then we're going to hit OK. So this will bring us back to our print menu and we'll just go ahead and hit print. And then we will go over and open the laser control panel. Once we have this open, we can see everything that's going to print. Um, so now we need to skip over and focus our laser. So we are almost ready to start cutting out our 2D2. Um, one of the first steps is focusing the laser to make sure everything's lined up. So here's our laser, and you can see the laser moving to the center of the casing. And there is a laser measuring tool that should be with your laser. Um, and there's a little notch on it that should have the laser rest just on top of it to make sure that the spacing is correct so that all of our settings work the way that they should. Now that we have that done, we can just go ahead and hit, hit the play button on the laser and it will start cutting out for us. So here we can see the laser cutting out. Um, you can see some of the engraved numbers of 62-1 up at the top and that it's actually cutting out some of the pieces for us. Um, this is gonna take a while, especially if you have multiple pieces to cut out. Now that we have R2-D2 cut out, we are ready to start putting him together. Before you start, make sure you have proper ventilation because the glue will smell. Um, and make sure you have enough space to lay out all of your pieces that you need to see. So, we decided to organize all of our pieces by layers, 1 through 97. So, and we decided to start building him from the top to the bottom. So we started with his head and the smallest little piece up there at the top. And the lines will also guide you to putting him together. 
So we just start gluing pieces in the order of their numbers in reverse, um, highest to lowest. All the lowest numbers should be at the bottom of R2D2. And fast forward here a little bit, you can see R2D2 coming together. Make sure that you put your dowel rods in where they need to be to give that extra support. Um, the glue will help hold them together, but the dowel rods will give them a little bit extra support. Something to keep in mind, um, we are using clamps to let him sit a little bit to help the glue kind of dry and really make sure that he has a strong bond. So we recommend that you do that. But you can see he's coming along. So next we're going to move on and start building up his feet um, from the bottom up. So you can see here a fast motion of the feet being built. So once we have both side feet and the middle foot, built, we can go ahead and attach our 2D2 together to complete our 12-inch wood laser cutout R2D2.